consider the following coin flipping game. Uh, the game um, is played by uh, flipping a coin multiple times. So one game play consists of repeatedly flipping an unbiased coin. Unbiased coin is basically a typical coin that has a 50% chance to landing on uh, head and a 50 on tail. Uh, and then uh, we want to flip it until the difference between the number of heads and tails that we toss becomes three. So initially the difference is zero. We have zero heads and zero tails. But as we flip, the number of heads is increasing, the number of tails is increasing. When the difference becomes three, we stop the game. Every time we pay one dollar for each coin flip. So this is basically a cost to play the game. And we are not allowed to quit the game while we're playing it, right, until the difference becomes three. And when the difference becomes three, right, then uh, the game ends and we receive eight dollars at the end. Um, the table below shows example play. So for example, it could be that we flip head, 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 the results are head, 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 and then if after three heads or three tails for that matter, the game would stop and we would pay the cost of three uh, flips, but we would get eight dollars, so the, uh, the end result would be a winning of five dollars. If it happens that we have tail, then head, and then three tails, right, then right, there is one, one tail, one head, uh, so it's again the difference is zero, but after three times throwing tail, we would have the difference three, three more tails than heads, um, and so there's, there's a total of five flips, and then we win three dollars. Why? Because we win eight minus the number of flips, so that's three, right? And then there is a, another evolution, you see there's more, more alternation here, tail, head, head, tail, right? And after four flips, we're again back to different zero. After six flips, again back to different zero. After eight, still the difference is zero, one, zero, the difference, and then three tails. And it happens that we have a total of 11 flips. And because of 11, the cost is 11, the, the profit is eight or the revenue is eight. So eight minus 11 is negative three. So we lose three dollars. These are examples of the game play. So the question is, would you play this game? Is this a winning or a losing game for a person who's playing it, not for the casino, right? That's the question we will try to answer with a simulation.